The Tortoise and the Jackrabbit by Susan Lowell. One fine day, the desert was full of springtime magic. Seeds sprouted, eggs hatched, cactus buds bloomed. Aha, uh -huh, said Tortoise coming out of her burrow. I feel good. I feel fast. Jackrabbit turned one of his huge ears in her direction. Silly Tortoise, he laughed. You drag that heavy shell wherever you go. As for me, I'm free, free, free. Zig, Jackrabbit, leap left. Zag, Jackrabbit, sprang right. I'm the fastest runner in the desert, he bragged. Tortoise looked patiently up at him with her old, old eyes. Let's race, she said. Now the other desolate animals gathered around. I'm sure to win, said Jackrabbit. Prove it, said Tortoise. So they agreed to race. I'll mark the course, squawked Roadrunner, and off he ran. Over the hill, across the dusty flat space, under the mesquite trees to the water hole. I'll draw the starting line, hissed Rattlesnake as she slithered across the sand. Tortoise and Jackrabbit took their places side by side. I'll watch from above, called Buzzard high in the sky, while Ego floated silent as a cloud. Eyeing Jackrabbit hungrily, Cody volunteered to start the race. One, two, three. Ooh! Jackrabbit bolted away. Long, low, leap, ho, he sang, and over the rocky hill he soared in less than no time. Tortoise moved her scaly toes up the slope. Screech, scratch, lump, bump, she went. Scorpion peeked out from beneath the big rock. Tortoise itched past a blooming prickly pear cactus, and she trudged around a giant cigarro. High up its trunk inside a dark hole, Elf Owl opened one Ooh, sleepy eye. Tortoise rustled through the desert dandelions and golden poppies, purple sand verbena, and creamy butterfly lilies. Oh, although she loved flowers, she did not stop. Don't step on us, cried the ants, scattering. I won't, sighed Tortoise in her dry little voice as she lumped and bumped along. Meanwhile, Jackrabbit came to the dusty flat. Long, low, leap, ho, he said, and skipped across. By now, he had left Tortoise far behind. Under the mesquite trees, he saw a patch of tender, sweet, delicious grass, and he stopped to nibble it. By the time he had eaten his fill, he felt so drowsy that he lay down in the shade and fell fast asleep. Tortoise plodded down the hill. Scritch, scratch, lump, bump. She was tired and hot, but Tarantula waved his eight furry arms to cheer her onward. At last, she too came to the dusty flat place. Help! A terrible fast monster with brown black rubber feet. It tried to crush her flat. There was a roar, a smell of burning oil, and a cloud of dust. When the dust settled, Tortoise crept out of her shell. Whew, she said, and she continued slowly and steadily on her way. She passed Jackrabbit, still snoozing under the mesquite trees. Suddenly he woke up. He saw all the other animals gathered at the water hole. The quails had even brought their children like little brown eggs on legs. And Tortoise had almost reached the finish line. Jackrabbit flew past light-footed deer, somersaulted over stinky skunk, left Gila monster in the dust, and never even noticed shy kangaroo rat. He hightailed it faster than ever, past hairy pig-like javelina, and then whoops! He crashed right into sly coyote and skedaddled. 
but long, low, leap! Oh, no! Tortoise screeched, scratched across the line first. The desert animals cheered! Thank you, my friends, said Tortoise. Avelina handed the winner a beautiful spring bouquet. And slowly, happily, Tortoise ate it. The end.